This morning, the European Parliament had a debate on the forthcoming summit in October. Russia is going to be high on that agenda. What would you like to see come out of that summit? Well, it becomes very clear, although it was to be expected, that Russia is destabilizing uh, Central Eastern Europe by its war uh, against Ukraine, and Crimea and Donbass. It is uh, contrary to what some thought in Brussels, Berlin and Washington. It is not part of the solution of the Syrian drama. It is part of the problem. That's why Russia is so high on the agenda. And I think that EU needs to revise its Russia policy, make it uh, stronger and more consistent. What specifically would you like to see them do? We've got sanctions in place. What, what else can be done? Sanctions could be extended. And uh, EU should uh, be more active in diplomatic area, uh, especially in face of what is happening in Aleppo. It's the civilian targets and civilians are intentionally targeted by Assad and Russians. Uh, that has to be stopped. And there's no light in the tunnel in the war Russia is leading against Ukraine in Donbas. So Russia has to be told, stop it now, or you face next wave of sanctions. How can they intervene? Assad is not going to invite them in, obviously. Um, they don't have any mandate to actually militarily intervene. How can they cross that line? Well, Russians have no mandate, <laughs> uh, neither. Uh, so I think it's too late for boots on the ground on the side of the European Union uh, or its members, although I, I think it was a mistake to, to be completely absent from the Middle East and Syria uh, conflict. Uh, but now what remains are other instruments which are at hand, which is diplomatic pressure, which are sanctions, and increased uh, military pressure around the scene, so as not to leave Russia alone there, uh, killing uh, civilians, uh, cooperating with the murderer regime of Assad, and the uh, United States being virtually, or becoming virtually absent also, because they broke all the, all the channels, and rightly so, with Russia, because whatever was agreed was not kept by Russia. So I think that uh, there should be a close uh, agreement between the United States and Europe on one Euro-Atlantic Russia, a very determined, uh, very uh, strict policy. Do you think there's a change of mood among leaders? We've seen the judgment come out of the investigation into the MH17 flight uh, that was uh, taken down over while flying over the Ukraine. Is there, is there a general change within the, the members of the council? There is a change and, and uh, hopefully uh, this change uh, will last and will be uh, consistent. Although regrettably um, this what was seen by Central East Europeans uh, a long time ago uh, is with a delay seen by other others in Western Europe and in, in America, but it's never too late to change the position if it was not right as it should be.